guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I'll be reacting right into episodes 5 and 6 of Koinini Managatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 and 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Popcorn? No, you're fine! Oh my god, Singer. <laughs> you just got here! Ah. Oh god, puppy. You're literally honestly making me want popcorn. <laughs> oh, it's so precious. Yes, you two are alone. And that's okay. <laughs> Go in right. That's so the star doesn't get it.
Hi, Shane. You would think you would have a speaking role in this episode, but no. Oh, there we go! Never mind! <laughs> yeah, because everything you say is a freaking lie. I mean, honestly, I don't know whether to believe you sometimes. Because you could say the sky is green. I'm making me hungry and want fucking donuts. I mean, I'm already hungry, but oh my god, I, I could literally eat anything right now. Go precious. I get that, but... Hold up, like, what if he was gonna use that to pay for freaking Shinobu and her eating freaking donuts? I mean, damn. Like, can't you ask for anything else besides money? Now it makes me wonder, around the time when he came back for, like, the second time, and when he was talking to, um, <laughs> Senku, <laughs> are they gonna have another conversation with this show that could have been, like, a side-off thing for a movie? I'm not 100 percent sure. But it was interesting. I mean, I really don't know what else to say about it. It was. I, I was thinking that we were not really going to see Kaiki in this, and I thought we were maybe going to see him until like way later on into it. So if this is like episode five, I would have guessed maybe either eight to the end of the series, possibly. But I mean, damn, he came early as fuck. So I'm guessing like the next one we're probably going to focus on is Cotton, in a way. I mean, the wind thing was still interesting, though, but still, I mean, 
wouldn't say it's my favorite episode for this. I still would say last week's and the weeks before were my favorites. But this one was okay for what it was. It had an interesting story with it, but still, I'm like, hmm, okay. Didn't really interest me as much as the other ones, but still. It was nice to see Kaiki because he's still one of those characters that, in the beginning, I didn't really like it. Now, I th- I really think he's a very interesting type of character. He's still weird in my book, but and there are times where I really don't trust him as much. But he's still an interesting freaking character and possibly one of the most, like, semi-important male characters in this show besides Agaragi. Because Agaragi is very important. And, you know, because he's the main character. He's the one who we're mostly seeing the POV of until, like, you know, a girl comes in and steals his thunder and it's like that. But, yeah, I enjoyed it for what it was. But, I mean, really, honestly, I don't really have anything else to say about it. It was a good episode. And, yeah, but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. This isn't going to be like, mm, I don't know, because with Karen, like, you don't really know what to expect with her and what she could possibly do and what her story might be. I really don't know. I have scared. <laughs> and I really shouldn't be, but Karen, you know, she interests him, but still, I mean... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I was kind of thinking this was going to be about since we're talking about trees and stuff. I was thinking that they're going to look at a stump and then just count the ages of how old it was and shit like that. Yeah, she really is. (laughs) 
with the tree. Right, you're gonna kick your ass. No, like an actual tree tree. Where's Carmen? What are you going off right now? So then something supernatural, of course, must have planted the tree. Yeah, but there's no way how a tree could grow that fast, you know? Mm -hmm. So who knows how long that tree could have been growing there for? Oh, damn. Let's not do that, though. <laughs> mm, of course, I get that. Yeah, but then if you chop it down, wouldn't it just go back even more and twice its size, possibly? Okay. Honestly, I got you. What the hell are you going to do? Like, what? Of course, you would ask my other best girl to help you.
So in the end, nobody will track the tree down. This one was way more interesting than five. I'm just going to say that in a nutshell. I mean, the backstory of this tree and learning more about it a little bit in under 15 minutes, really more of 10. But it's interesting more to me. I'm just saying. But I love the fact that in the end it didn't get chopped down. That's good because it gets to stay there. And the person who made the JoJo, I can't speak right now, um, gets to watch over it for years and years to come. I, like, I mean, honestly, I thought this episode was going to be, because of the fact is, you know, seeing Cotton's opening, I was like, okay, I have honestly no clue. It could literally be about anything that could probably go into the incest thing that, you know, the shit between them that could possibly happen, but thank God it hasn't. I mean, because he has an interesting relationship with his sisters, but I mean... If I had to choose the two out of the two, which one I like more, I think it's Sue because Sue's just too fucking adorable and you just automatically have to love her. She's just too fucking cute. And her opening is just too addicting and her little fucking dance is just mm, it's too fucking adorable. I loved it. But it was nice. I'm glad my best girl Hanagawa was in this episode because I miss her, even though we saw her a couple of weeks ago. But it's just nice to have different characters from different moments still come in and to still have a character developmentation no matter what. I mean, because even with last week, uh, with the last episode, having Kaiki in it, because I wasn't expecting Kaiki to come until 
maybe sometime uh, in the previous episode or possibly later on when they had an episode that was going to focus on him and after his situation was done. But yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, having, you know, because at first, if they really did chop that tree down and everything, and then they would have maybe went a couple of hours or even a day later, who knows what the tree could have done. The tree could have grown in size and be like, maybe we shouldn't have cut that tree down or something like that. They would have had a conversation, but I'm glad that they didn't chop it down. As I said, it's there for generations and generations to come and it's able to watch over them. But yeah, it was a very interesting episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes five and six of Koyomi Managatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Metro Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreon and next Monday for everybody else for episodes seven and eight. Bye, guys.